Hello and welcome to 150 Days of Psalms. My name is Derek Hoven. I'm the pastor at Salem Lutheran Church in Orlando. And every day for 150 days, I'm looking at one of the Psalms, uh, often through just uh, stories and experiences of my own and how I have found them intersecting with my life. And uh, as we read and reflect on them, the hope is that you too will find uh, these Psalms touching your lives in some way as well. Today is day 33, and so we read Psalm 33. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous. Praise is fitting for the upright. Praise the Lord with lyre. Make music for God with a ten-stringed harp. Sing for the Lord a new song. Play your instruments skillfully with joyful sounds. For your word, O Lord, is right, and faithful are all your works. Your love righteousness and justice your steadfast love fills the whole earth by your word were the heavens made by the breath of your mouth all the hosts of heaven you gather up the waters of the ocean as in a water skin and store up the depths of the sea let all the earth fear the lord let all who dwell in the world stand in awe for god spoke and it came to pass god commanded and it stood fast the Lord brings the will of the nations to nothing and thwarts the designs of the peoples. Your will, O Lord, stands fast forever, and the designs of your heart from age to age. Happy is the nation whose God is the Lord. Happy the people chosen to be God's heritage. The Lord looks down from heaven and sees all humankind. God sits firmly enthroned and watches all who dwell on the earth. God fashions all their hearts and observes all their deeds. A king is not saved by the size of the army, nor are warriors rescued by their great strength. The horse gives vain hope for victory, despite its great strength it cannot save. Truly your eye is upon those who fear you, O Lord, upon those who wait for your steadfast love, to deliver their lives from death and to keep them alive in a time of famine. Our innermost being waits for you, O Lord, our helper and our shield. Surely our heart rejoices in you for your holy name. In your holy name, we put our trust. Let your loving kindness, O Lord, be upon us, even as we place our hope in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One of my favorite hymns that we sing in church is called Come Thou Font of Every Blessing, and it is set to a 19th century hymn tune called Nettleton. Uh, it might be a familiar one to some of you. It goes da 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 da. It's got a wonderful melody to it, and since most of my life in the church has uh, sung that song either to an organ or a piano or maybe a guitar, I've mostly ever heard it by uh, with just one instrument. When my younger son was in middle school, uh, they have a a competition sort of thing for band that they do every spring where they go and they play for judges who score their performance and their concert music. And one year, this was one of the songs they played, Nettleton, and they had a practice concert where they gathered at the school and they played for some other band directors who came and acted as judges and provided them feedback. As soon as they were a few notes into the song, I was blown away. To hear this beautiful melody that I've known all my life, but set to uh, a whole band of kids playing all different instruments, gave it a richness and depth of sound that I had never heard before. And it took this song that I so loved and made it even more wonderful. The Psalm in Psalm 33 begins uh, by saying, Rejoice in the Lord. And then says, praise the Lord with lyre, make music for God with a ten-stringed harp, sing for the Lord a new song. And later the psalmist goes on and talks about uh, all who dwell in the world standing in awe. It makes it sound as if this music that is made is not just a, a couple of instruments that are mentioned, but a whole uh, awesome chorus of the world that is praising the wonderful work of God. The psalm outlines the creation of uh, that we remember God for speaking the creation into being. It also talks about God curbing the nations. And somewhere in this psalm is just this bold uh, proclamation of singing uh, praise to all of that awesomeness. 
in that way it makes it sound like a full and rich song that is being sung not just a simple melody but all of the instruments brought together to sing praise at the same time though it is clear that the psalmist is not necessarily in a good place towards the end of the psalm it talks about waiting our innermost being waits for you O lord our helper and our shield there is yet uh, work that uh, people are that the psalmist is hoping that God will do uh, to bring that melody alive. But amidst that ma- waiting and amidst whatever that struggle is, the psalmist is still able to call for a new song, to call on the instruments to be played, and to call for this praise to be given, even as they wait for God's steadfast love to show up in a new way. That night uh, after that uh, performance, uh, the other band directors that were serving as judges went and they talked to the middle school band and they uh, in each of the songs and in Nettleton as they played it they went through and talked about parts where they could improve their performance some be more sharp with their notes and more uh, together in their melody I didn't hear any of that it sounded all wonderful to me and it was just a few weeks later that we were able to go to that uh, competition where their judges uh, the real judges were there to grade them and to hear them once again just play this beautiful melody of hope into the world. Let us pray. We hear a lot each day, O Lord. We hear vehicles and sirens. We hear TVs and computers. We hear phones and conversations. We hear machines and appliances. Amidst all of these... We also hear music. We hear birds and breezes. We hear rain and thunder. We hear laughter and tears. We hear life and even death. Tune our hearts to hear you in it all. Tune our hearts to sing your praise. Amen. Thank you for joining me for 150 Days of Psalms. I'll be back tomorrow with Psalm number 34.